Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm Hiroben Okto in Tokyo University. Uh, at Shilho is my colleague. Uh, we are a development team of SM Sharp Compiler. SM Sharp is a language, SM Sharp is a variant of standard ML, uh, which we are, uh, we are developing. Uh, so today we, I am talking about our uh, development of uh, LLV code generator of SM Sharp Compiler. So, uh, you know that uh, uh, state of the art one we must be uh, have state of the art code generator. Uh, otherwise, uh, any language uh, will be quickly also and useless because uh, operating system and computer architecture is rapidly evolving. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> so but uh, forget that. So we are, we are professional of lambda uh, or ML. But uh, uh, we are not professional at code generation. Code generation is a very difficult task uh, that requires uh, lots of effort, lots of, lots of effort of implementation, and lots of uh, expert knowledge about operating uh, system details and uh, CPU instruction set. So yeah, we are very busy at playing with Lambda, so I don't, I, I don't want to consider about the code generation, but uh, so either solution is that uh, they professionals as well as Lambda. So uh, there, there are some people uh, you know, making a research about code generation. And there are some company uh, making many, many, many effort to developing a so-called compiled infrastructure, uh, which is a language independent code, 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 code generator. <coughs> so uh, if we could use uh, this code compiled infrastructure from functional language, we can continue to, we can concentrate uh, on playing with data. So, but uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, code generation expert uh, usually does not take, does, does not take care of uh, lambdas. Uh, they love she or she experience. So, uh, there's, there's a uh, wide gap between lambda and uh, compiled infrastructure. But this uh, either solution is getting come true due to the LLVM. LLVM is a uh, compiled infrastructure, uh, uh, lovely meeting and uh, actively uh, developed by many, many uh, experts. And uh, some functional languages uh, overcome this gap, uh, such as, as far as I know, there, is, uh, there are uh, some functional languages, such as uh, uh, GHC, and ARAM, and MILTIN, and uh, our SMH. So we are, uh, today I'm talking about uh, our development activity of SN Sharp compiler on LLVM. So, uh, so let me introduce now LLVM. Uh, LLVM is, is a kind of compiler from LLVM IR, which is the source language of LLVM, to a native code. Uh, LLVM IR it looks like a kind of special simplified C language uh, in single static assignment form. Uh, <coughs> It has uh, uh, several integer types and pointer types and the uh, uh, notion of functions in the sense of C. And, uh, so, but uh, much closer to, uh, it is similar to C, but uh, much closer to machine code than C. Uh, so it, it, but it is retargetable, but uh, less portable than C. Uh, uh, so on the other hand, what is the major issue to compare email to uh, LLVM. So uh, there are a lot of issues in companies, but uh, we, uh, we, today I list out the four issues as the major issues. So what one is table code optimization. Uh, so in functional languages, functional, table, functional application is the only way to control the control flows. So we often, we, we very, very uh, often to we, we use state codes. 
So uh, without tail code optimization, tail code optimization means that uh, to tail, uh, co comparing calls in the jumps, uh, without this optimization, uh, the uh, call stack will be ex exhausted quickly. And uh, in another perspective, uh, we need to enable uh, loop optimization of uh, compile infrastructure, we need to make some loop structure in LLVM and AI. Uh, that is not appear in uh, source language function at yeah. yeah. The second issue is the polymeric functions. Uh, we have polymeric functions, but uh, there is no low level function uh, that, uh, that, uh, uh, that behaves polymorphically. So uh, we, need to we need to consider about how to compile polymeric functions to low level machine code. And uh, the study is the exception. We have a ML, a ML has exceptions. Uh, this means that uh, unwind jump. And uh, the final issue is that uh, garbage collection. We have garbage collection, so we need to determine uh, where pointer is, where, which, which object is that we like, or such kind of thing. So uh, in addition, uh, our same shop has some several uh, specific issues. So uh, yeah, not, uh, same shop is a kind of uh, something like a uh, lunatic function language, uh, in the sense that uh, is, a, is to be a practical, uh, as, as practical as she. Uh, so uh, SM Sharp should, uh, should be able to do everything uh, she can do. So uh, first of all, we have, so SM Sharp has na natural representation. It means, I mean that uh, <coughs> orbit of integers are uh, reserved. There is no space to uh, locate uh, meta level target. And uh, there are lots of basic type, lots of integer types, and lots of uh, floating point types, and so on. And uh, we have separate comparison in the sense of C. So uh, there is uh, a programmatic combination of uh, so separate, com uh, separate comparison of polymeric functions. Uh, we need to compile, separately separate compile polymeric functions uh, to object code. So uh, due to the lots of basic types and separate compilation, uh, some, some kind of monophorization or code duplication is not reasonable in the same shot. And, uh, so and the third point is that the uh, same shot has similar sensibility of C, so this means that uh, SMSH program can freely call without any tool uh, call, call C functions. So uh, in order to do this, SMSH code must do as C code do. So, uh, and the last point is very important, but we are only two persons. So very, very few resources to develop SMSH. So uh, we, we don't have any code generator, C code uh, like, like uh, GHC or Milton. But uh, uh, so we need to leverage this LLVM as much as possible uh, to more than any other functional program, functional language, which which adopts the LLVM. And, uh, and uh, code optimizer, generator and code optimizer should be leading uh, to the professionals. So, uh, so let me talk about uh, Issues uh, to uh, on the uh, development of their own LLVM uh, come up with. So uh, there's four point of uh, there's four issues on to compare ML to LLVM. Uh, uh, two of four is uh, about uh, functions and uh, uh, exception and uh, garbage collection. And in SMSR, SMSR functions are not LLVM functions. So how in order to compile SMA sharp to LLVM, we need to consider how to optimize the class calls in an sense and how to write for the code in LLVM R in our SMA sharp sense. So uh, let me talk about the compiling <coughs> functions. So uh, to leverage LLVM as much as possible, uh, we compile each of uh, after closure conversion, we compile each of the function to the uh, function, to the uh, function. So, and compi we compile every person called the jams in the uh, in front end, compile front end, uh, 
uh, by adding explicit jump terms to internet languages. And uh, we use first CC core information, which is, which is uh, a standard core information provided by the VM, which is a uh, highly optimized core information provided by the VM. Uh, and, uh, and we implement core cores on top of first CC. Uh, so let me talk about the first point, the telecom optimization. So uh, our strategy is very simple. We, we want to keep our isolation compile simple. So uh, we added these two terms to the internet language. One is uh, code K for E1 and 2. It's like another is go to K. So uh, the first one, code K uh, for E1 and 2 means that uh, uh, in this, this, this term introduces a uh, code level K. Uh, K is not a first class object, but a code level. Uh, code level K uh, and evaluate E2. Uh, E1 is bounded, e, K is bounded to code E1, and uh, go to can invoke this code. Uh, go to K means that uh, K uh, cancels the current continuation and go to the code K. Uh, that is all. So uh, I don't. We don't. We haven't. We haven't considered about this, uh, this, uh, the property of these terms in the sense of lambda. But uh, uh, this is uh, directly corresponding to uh, level, uh, low level levels and low level jump instruction. So we can compile uh, these terms uh, into low level jumps very simply. Uh, for example, uh, we uh, so. Let, 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 let's have to talk about some of these examples. So this this fun, some function is a tail uh, recursive version of you know, the summation of integers. Uh, it's compared to the following. Uh, so uh, there is a tail call, tail recursive call of sum uh, in edge codes. Uh, it's compared into the go to, uh, go to term. And the entire body is compared into the code uh, terms. Uh, the beginning uh, level k is put, uh, at, put at the beginning of the functional body, and the uh, tail recursive core is compared into go to uh, k, uh, which means that uh, go, to the, go, go to the beginning of the function. So uh, this code is compared into like this. So uh, there's two, uh, you will see that there are two branches of the BR, uh, that is an unconditional jump in the VM. Uh, in this code, at the beginning and at the last of this code. So, uh, so uh, we can uh, compile the safety recursive code to uh, these two terms, but uh, uh, in some cases, we can't compile. Uh, it, is, it is difficult to compile uh, the course to levels. So, uh, the typical situation is that we can the recursive code, and this is a uh, Textbook example of even and all functions. Uh, this is uh, they are mutually tail recursive each other. Uh, it's compiled to in a, by, by our SM sharp code. It's compiled by SM sharp, our SM sharp will be compiled to uh, the following functions. Uh, they, uh, it doesn't involve it, it doesn't it doesn't involve the code and the code uh, instruction, uh, but instead uh, they they introduce a uh, tail core instruction in LLVM. We expect that LLVM to compile it to jump, but uh, the LLVM doesn't uh, understand uh, this is a loop. So uh, loop optimization will be uh, will, will not be enabled uh, to this code. But uh, uh, in our experience, uh, this is now. Uh, this is this is enough uh, for practical use. It will be useful. So and another problem is that how to compile how to compile polymorphic functions. So uh, polymorphic function should be compiled in LLVM function due to the uh, uh, SM sharp characteristics uh, of uh, separate compilation and. Interoperability of C. So, uh, and uh, on the other hand, LLVMIR requires all functions and core size. Uh, all functions and core size mean that uh, all, all uh, function arguments and function, uh, function return values and 
uh, are explicitly tied uh, with monomorphic types, you not know, polymorphic types of the lab. And so, and uh, we don't like, we don't, uh, we, want, we, we wouldn't like to duplicate, call and duplicate, reconstruct the main data. So, uh, code must be uh, two views in one code. So, uh, one is poly, uh, code must be polymorphic type in a main sense, but uh, the same code uh, must be monomorphically typed in a main sense. So, uh, let me consider this uh, issue in some, uh, with, with some formal stuff. Uh, let me consider about uh, some lambda calculus uh, combining uh, uh, that, 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 that will be seen as uh, LLVM code as well as lambda. Uh, so, we consider uh, the, uh, the, the following uh, types. Uh, one basic types of uh, supposed int, and type variables and function types and polymorphic uh, types. And uh, there is, uh, on the other hand, there is two, for simplicity, there is two LLVM types. One is integer and one another is pointer. And ex ex in expressions, you, is, you will see that uh, uh, there, are, there are some annotations on lambda terms and the function application terms. Uh, lambda terms and uh, function application terms has some explicit type of monomorphic type of annotation of LLVM types. And that means that uh, this uh, function takes the uh, LLVM value of type K1 and returns a uh, uh, value of LLVM type K2. And uh, in the function application, K1 is an argument type of LLVM sense and K2 is a return value type of LLVM sense. So, we want to compile this lambda term into uh, LLVM code. So uh, then we need to define some uh, correspondence between SMA type and LLVM types. So uh, integer, in, uh, integer type in LLVM must be, should be, should be correspond to uh, LLVM integer type. And uh, uh, function type in LLVM uh, will be compiled into a function closure record. So it should be a pointer type in the LLVM. And so what is corresponding to the type of this? This is, a, this is problematic. And so we, we need to consider that uh, we need to decide this, uh, this and uh, uh, we need to define the type, type, type systems and operational semantics of these characters to reveal the uh, issues and uh, to make a compact algorithm. <coughs> So our strategy is the following. The polymorphic function is only with the box value. We suppose we call that so. Uh, so in this sense, uh, for any type, can be corresponding to pointer type. So uh, uh, integer type can be boxed in, uh, heap, in, in the heap. Uh, we think so. So and, and uh, application E has two kinds of types. It, this is corresponding to the uh, two views of, the, of, the, of one code. Uh, so in the type environment, type environment C, or under the type environment sigma uh, expression name has type uh, sigma in ML and uh, uh, and uh, the type K in ML. So and perform unboxing and unboxing at each core type if, if it is needed. If core is polymorphic, those are uh, Box uh, wrap, wrap, the, wrap the integer into the, into the, uh, into the box, boxing representation and uh, before call. Uh, and uh, this condition will be checked at runtime. time. So uh, this is a uh, de uh, detail of our uh, development, but uh, due to the time limitation, we skip it. Uh, we skip it. So, Uh, this is an example uh, of the, uh, how to generate, uh, how to generate, uh, how to generate, uh, how to generate, uh, how to generate code. Uh, the fu function g x is g is a uh, g is a function of integer to integer. Uh, is compiled into the following code. Uh, in this context, in this configuration scheme, comp uh, uh, function closure is a portable, but uh, portable one. Uh, 
total of uh, two calls and one flag and one uh, project environment. Uh, two code is uh, <coughs> in this example, G optimal and G generic, which optimal takes an uh, unboxed integer and returns a boxed integer, and G generic takes an uh, boxed integer and returns a boxed integer. It, 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 its rigid flag is used as follows. Uh, at, at, the course, at the call side, uh, extract that uh, rigid flag from uh, closure environment. And if it is true, we, all, we, always do, can, we, we can always use optimal code, optimal calling compression, uh, I mean an um, unboxed um, calling compression, and otherwise we choose a uh, box calling compression. And uh, another, uh, so uh, this is an uh, exception and uh, other question about whiskey heat uh, to uh, target and the conclusion that we have tackled the following issues, uh, mainly tables and spread comparison for the function, the exception, the double encryption, there are the minor issues. And uh, we have all of, we have done everything. So we have completed to uh, the development of development is in a sharp comparison with the version. So get an enjoy SMSHAP 2.0 with SMSHAP Red Bull and uh, 3.4. Uh, future plan is that uh, this is just a development report, so we need to formalize uh, our comparison method and we need to make some optimization and uh, uh, some we need, we need some we need to some make, make some evaluation uh, of this comparison method. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, we, need, we need some, uh, we need lots of, lots of effort 
to use this uh, yeah. garbage collection support. Because uh, there is no uh, address documentation to uh, provide They don't provide um, sort of detailed documentation about this feature. Yeah. So uh, we investigate or some kind of estimate uh, and try and error. <laughs> I have a, uh, one question. Uh, so, so the um, uh, about this con construct you introduced in the intermediate language, uh, the go-to construct, that, uh, that has this idea of labels that you, uh, and I guess you have to be really careful uh, that they do not escape the scope. Ah, yeah. Uh, so, do you have a type system for this thing, or, or, or somehow? Uh, yeah, uh, my my strategy is very simple. So uh, K is not a value. Just, just uh, this one. So K is, K is, K is not a value. K is not a value. So uh, and uh, K is visible in E1, E2, but uh, it's not visible in nested functions. Okay, so so that means also that you have difficulties in implementing, for instance, the output of uh, MLX. That's, that has like a nested, uh, big nested recursive function where you see take <coughs> from the inner functions to the outer uh, ones. And that, I think that's, that's probably difficult to... Yeah, 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 I think so. But uh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, this is a little problem we, uh, no problem we know. <laughs>